Everybody come on in, guys. What's going on, guys? Your boy John and Liquidator coming back with another video. So basically, you know, you guys probably wonder where have I been for the past seven days? I've been in this store fighting between slow season and maintaining sales. Some so basically, what's going on is some days. We'll just blow sales out the window. Other days, you might not have any sales at all. So if you guys own a business or in retail, you kind of know what I'm talking about. As you get as you get closer to the holidays, it makes it like extremely hard to maintain uh, business, keeping everything afloat or whatnot. But I'm trying my best to crank out videos while I manage my business. This is like, like I said, when I first started vlogging, uh, this is a big store. Uh, this is all kind of new to me, having a store of this magnitude, maintaining rent, maintaining all the bills, maintaining orders. But I do got some great news coming, guys. I got a truck scheduled to come with sectionals Monday. So today's Friday. I'll be vlogging today and tomorrow and Monday. I'm just trying to pick up on it like as content come in. So what I've been doing is I've just been trying to work the books, keep everything assembled, Um and uh, just keep the store stocked up with merchandise. I'm working on something with uh, uh, like a, another store. So hopefully we can partner up, do some stuff. I'll bring you guys on, on, on that journey as well. But with that being said, let me flip my camera around, show you guys how the store look. Wow. You guys can see some stuff is gone. You know, some stuff, a lot of stuff is gone. But uh, we got new stuff coming in. Got all the recliners over there up against the wall. Uh, we still got these beds here. So I don't know if I touched bases on this last vlog. So I went on ahead and decided to assemble beds back here along this wall. Um, as you guys can see, it's been over a week and the beds are still here. So, But it do make the store look more presentable than just having headboards like this side is. Just headboards. So I don't know. This side pretty much look good, guys. Um, it's just battling between good days and bad days, as I should say. You know, um, that's just where we at. I think I'm finna grade Moody stools probably in the next coming days. Probably vlog some of that. I still got some merchandise to assemble and back. I'll take you guys out to the warehouse, show you what all we got left uh, to assemble. Um, I'm probably gonna take a break on Wayfair trucks for like a month. Just probably take a month or two off of it. Um, just try to get more big bulkier items in like couches and, um, full blown bedroom sets where you got your six piece bedroom sets, seven piece bedroom sets, just because those pieces are like a, a lot easier to move because it's like one complete set instead of just one night stand headboard or one bed and a dresser or stuff like that. But, uh, let me take you guys into this next room here. Show you guys that real quick. Take you guys over here. This is our other room right here. So as you guys can see, some stuff did leave. A lot of stuff left from out of here since uh, last vlog. This king size bed, which I might move him over to the other side next week. Put some more stuff right there. So, yeah, so the next truck coming in is couches and recliners, guys. Um, hopefully after that, I might do a small way for a truck. I don't know. So I went on ahead and put a bump bed up here because we uh, sold a couple bump bed sets this past week. So uh, I went on ahead and just assembled this one. Guys, anytime you're assembling bump beds, just know it's going to take you two to three hours to assemble this one bump bed. I should have logged it, guys, but I was getting frustrated because I had to do two of, two of these uh, in one day. So uh, that pretty much had my whole day tied up. Um, but... Yeah, so I decided to put my beds over here, take you guys out to the warehouse, and uh, show you guys how the warehouse looks now, how everything is coming along, go over some stuff with you guys with that part. I think the lights is off out here. So they cut the lights off, and it is cold here in St. Louis. It is a very um, cold day. It's the weather change here. Um, One day, it could be... 70 next day it could be 35 that's just how it is here in st louis let me flip my camera around show you guys how everything look 
So this is trash. I had to call my trash company and set up another dumpster because the other one that I had was not big enough. So now we got two dumpsters. Because this is the last little bit of trash that's left. So I'm going to start with this end here. So everything that's over here, these are all beds. These are all beds. So those are twin size beds. All of these are twin size beds. That's a queen size bed. Here's another queen size bed. These are all beds, guys. These are all beds. And so anytime you get those Wayfair trucks, like it's super nice that they give you extra merchandise. I cannot complain about that. I love that they give me more than what's uh, listed on a uh, manifest. But it's just becoming a point now where I'm getting too many beds. Like, throw me in four extra couches, five extra dressers or something. Like, they just keep throwing me in all these extra beds. And so that's just something that you guys got to look out for when you're buying liquidation truckloads of furniture. It's like, granted, they do give you extra stuff. But it's like, is it the stuff that you want? So these are all beds right here, guys. This is a futon mattress. Well, these are two futon mattress. This is a uh, coffee table. These are mirrors. This is a mirror here. Bathroom accent mirrors. That's another bed. These are bed frames. These are all beds right here. These are all beds. These are like bunk, another uh, bunk bed set. This is beds and a desk. This is a baby crib. And this is the junkyard, which is bed pieces, I should say. But over here, this is like a desk. So this is desk in the bag. The reason this is like this, because I'll be assembling this tomorrow and um, getting this stuff out of here. I've been trying to clean up my uh, warehouse here. This is my son, Pumpkin. See, he's walking now, so he he can't use it anymore. So I got to take this home because I've just been having it up here. I have, have them. used to have them strapped in in the summertime when I was just assembling stuff. But as you guys can see, it really ain't that much stuff left but beds, guys. So I'm just trying to maintain my sanity and inventory through this point. This is the slow season. Um, like I said, I've been doing this for seven years. I'm pretty much like focused on this season all year round because I know when it come, it hits you like a freight train, the slow season do. Um, you really don't get a time to adjust and everything to like what's going on. So um, we've been like coming in and out of the slow season. Let me set my camera down here. I'm inside my office. And so basically, we've been coming in and out of the uh, slow season. And it's hard for me to manage and, like, pick up a camera if I got to, like, go over the books, do a budget, check inventory again, then check it again and again and again to make sure we got stuff cranked out, uh, load up customers, as like, customers purchase stuff. I have to uh, saran wrap everything just like I did that couch in that one vlog to get everybody loaded up. But now since, like, we're going, like, deeper and deeper into the slow season, I could bring you guys more vlogs, uh, content or whatnot, just, like, day-to-day -day type stuff that's going on, which ain't a whole bunch of nothing. That's part of the reason why I don't be vlogging as much. But, uh, like I say, we got the couches coming in this week. Well, next week. Got the uh, sofa, uh, sofa sets and sectionals coming in next week. Um, tomorrow I possibly will be breaking down another vlog, showing you guys how you make a profit on the trucks. Basically that vlog be going over like how to break down your truck into sections. So let's say you got like 200 pieces and you section it off beds, couches, houseware, home decor pieces and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, it's, it's, it's just a slow season. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring you guys as much, uh, as much content as I can. Uh, it is cold here, so, like, we're not doing anything, like, as a family outside. Uh, I do know the Christmas light stuff is coming up as we move closer to Christmas. Um, yeah, man, it's just, yeah. I live in the Midwest, guys, and so if anybody is familiar with the Midwest, 
Like, I'd rather change. Like, you change your underwear, guys. Like, it changes up so quick here. And, um, yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Hopefully, um, sales will pick up. Now, my sales, um, they kind of picked up this uh, week. We started the week off. I mean, well, not the week, but we started the month off really, really, really rough. And um, this was supposed to have been a profit month for, the, for like, me personally. <laughs> I could recoup some of the money that I had uh, invested in uh, this location here. But just unfortunately, uh, I've been unable to do that. That's just part of the business. Um, you just gotta just make sure you do your budgeting right, make sure you stay on top of everything and just weather the storm guys, because I'm telling you, as soon as January come, when them tax checks come out, guys, it's going to be Christmas in January. So, uh, just, uh, stay with me on this journey guys. And just like I say, every vlog, man. You guys, please share the videos. And if you guys look at the video, please subscribe. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. But uh, it's your boy, John the Liquidator, checking out with another video. Peace.